through there on Ori. No SF means not an easy chance for a kill, and of course, as we saw, the Frost Shield makes it tough. But now Roche is starting to be and there's, forced. There's no secrets here. They're seeing everything with the wards they have down on Aster, so they're going to move their way right to the pit. Starting to build up. Two stacks so far. They hit him with both. Chain Frost round. They're going to get him. Yes, they will. Ori goes down. Now looking for more XXS. Backing away. Does have to run. Look at Boxy go. X? Dude, still chasing. He's so low. Such low. He's trying to Boxy. Ult. Trying to oh. get away. Might just be able to the rebound. How is this hero fair? <laughs> oh my god. That was so sick. Zai was trying to send in the centaur as well to help. That space created because this Roche is going down. They're so close to finishing off. XXS wants to run in, but now they're committed. Monet chases forward. No, Good can't be setup. Shot Can they do him enough for the kill? McKay in trouble. That's one kill, one time dead. XXS brought down low with Sania, doing a bunch with that ultimate. They pull back in that Shadow Fiend. Yeah, McKay, Requiem to buy a little bit of space to chase down. They keep on wanting to fight, but Tumble Girl is alive. Chase dead. Monet, he doesn't have any. Which is pretty cool. Uh, it means that he doesn't have to enter the fight. It's a little different because now it seems like they're not trying to play off the roar. If you don't have a blink, it's hard to just say, I'm roaring this guy, go, go, go. Okay, oh, big go. right away. Frost nice. shield, keeping Ori alive. All that damage mitigation. Oh, the Stun commitment. comes forward, but they got him. The burst was there. Matumba Man was not prepared. Reactions. The, the level 20 timing is also very good when he goes magic and ags because it increases the uh, amount of time you can be feared i think by like 1.2 seconds or something max duration and the fear goes back in so once you arcane blink with an ags it's about four and a half seconds Ori, of fear. They got him. he's dead completely so destroyed <laughs> it happens in an instant as soon as have to see if there is going to be that big pivotal fight or not around well, this we'll war see if the the evasion can save xss here Got the uh, the talent for the plus one X brood up for the uh, for the evasion. Sense of danger moves right in, finds everybody. Four staff gets some separation. We'll get him with the stun. And that will be the death of the CM. But do they still want to fight? Expose pulls back XXS, looking for a chase. They buy back on the CM, TPing in for this fight. Mickey looking for the blink. They still keep him backing away, and XXS in trouble. Aeon disc summons, thinks about popping the ulti, but doesn't drop it yet. Snapfire ultimate. Four staff separating this. Sai in trouble. Roar. Uh, this isn't how they want to go out right now. Uh, this great vision here from Aster though. Obs and Sentry nearby. Gonna spot those Hawks, see what's going on. They take it down immediately. Still in the pit, looking for their setup here. No Requiem. They need a big play. Jump forward. Boxy right on top. It's not quick enough though. They went too early. Now the Axe is getting thrown. McKay in trouble. Right on top of him. Blows up the Shadow Fiend. But Tumba Man does not have an option. This Frost Shield is impossible to fight in to for that Ursa. And Boxy, oh, the Chain Frost. Frost bouncing back and forth. Takes him down. Liquid committed everything for this, and they're gonna get nothing. Oh, Boxy. A little bit of help there from the neutral creeps carrying on that chain frost right from Insania to Boxy and the trolls nearby. Into the pit they go, and Aster, after on the back for so much this game, waiting for that perfect moment, they find it. What a great way to base just uh, catch someone off guard in engagement. They instantly smoke up. They're going to try to catch them in their own jungle, just Roche isn't alive, they can't even start spawning for the next minute, so you just want to kick them out. This blink the site is just, it's just it's so terrifying. Careful, Insania, it's the first one they find, the cookie away, that gives some vision, but they're oh, barely wow. able to catch. The Sinister Gaze is enough. So, box. Now they're all alone. The second they see the TPs, they just walk into Roche. Aster, ready to go. Matumba Man and the rest of them are going to need to get back out close and quick, but it's not going to come yeah, quickly uh, enough. I believe it's Shadow Fiend himself who says, uh, outplayed, you know, Unreal. that's how this feels. Such clean Dota being played by Aster. Oh, he wants that Agnum's Blessing, he's taking it. And now, smoke up from Aster, we'll see if they make the move. I'm the Shadow Fiend now, I got the Terror Wave. They find one, it's XXS, that's not who you want at the start. Ori moves on in, PKB already out, Matumba Man runs away, the Terror Wave will forward the Frost Shield, it's not quite enough from Matumba Man, and now the Hex, oh, the crap. turn, they chase him down, no they buyback. kill him out, no buyback for two minutes. And just like that, Aster take a dominant control over this game. 20k gold lead now with that Aghanim's in tow and the lift up there. They found Mickey. Can he manage to escape the BKB? Runs on in, pulls him out. Nice throw. Like done. But he does have buyback on the Marcy. And they're in for something. Tumba Man does have buyback and 400 gold, but it's not going to come soon enough. Aster, they're not going to give him the time. The four staff keeps Insania alive, but on to the
the tier four towers now. Aster, the last team in the upper bracket from China. Head on in, Minkin goes with the big ulti. Is it gonna be enough though? XXS pops in immediately, turns to fight, looks for some more Monet. He's actually...